Hello everyone, this is Shakara Zohei Kyoku aka Chino Mint and let's start our new game series, Moonlighting to You. This is one of their submission to the Ultimate Gen 2021 which is about concerning love interests of the world mixed with courtrooms, confusions, and vampire. Sounds really fun to me, especially with the love interest. And I wonder what will happen. So, let's start. Historic brown fancy house. Exterior side garden. Two weeks prior. Ah! Ugh. <gasps> the man slumps to the ground, a poor blood blossoming around him. Mr. McAllister, what are you doing here? I thought you left already. Who's that? Did you run into a friend? Mr. McAllister? The man's neck hangs limply. Twisted in a cruel angle by the other. Um, that's concerning, though. He's he's dead, and also there's a um, smoking, smoking evil-looking guy before you. Witness stand, Cotton District Courtroom Number Eleven. West block, current time. He was standing in the pool of blood, holding Mr. McAllister up like he was nothing but a sack of potatoes. And by he, are you referring? Are you are referring to the defendant? Yes. Please continue. Sure. That's easy for him to say. He doesn't have to look at the monster. Smiling, smiling, carrying on. Like his head doesn't hang in the balance. Uh, oh, ho, ho. I see if he can read my mind. All eyes meet. The prisoner and accused, Olinda Barclay, gives a nonchalant wave. And with a two of his head wings. Um, that's really concerning. Or at least I think he does. It's a little hard to tell through all the hair. That emo hair. But if he thinks he can intimidate me, he's got another thing coming. I'll make you pay for killing Mr. McAllister, no matter what. Miss? If you continue your testimony. Oh crap, now he's glaring at me? How is it lawyers are almost scarier than the actual killers? Probably because I'm seeing what he's feeling. What was the defendant doing at that moment? What was he doing? Oh, I remember now. Uh-oh. Uh. It's not going to like what I'm about to say. Nick, I'm not going to like what I'm about to say. It's practically ridiculous. L l ludicrous. But I have to say it. For Mr. McAllister, hand the juice. Maybe also because I kind of don't want to get butchered. Hmm. <laughs> hey guys. He was um biting Mr. McAllister's neck and drinking the blood like some kind of vampire. The gallery erupts into a cacophonous din of murmurs and gaps. Prosecutor Rubik's face blanches from red to white to red again as the judge desperately pummels his gavel in an attempt to retain any semblance of control. Silence! 
order in the court. Order at once. The judge bangs his gavel, but no matter how loud he strikes it, other spectators refuse to see. V vampire. <clears throat> May I suggest a short recess, sir? The judge looks to argue, but decides better of it and concedes. <sighs> Very well, we convene in fifteen. Everyone clear the courtroom. As I found out with the rest of the gallery, I catch a snack, a snatch up. Prosecutor Rurik staring into his assistant. And why I haven't I heard of this before now? I thought you wrapped all the witnesses. How am I am supposed to prevent a robber case when a vital testimony is left out willy nilly? I'm sorry, sir. This is the first I've heard of it as well. His demeanor is no different than if he was remarking on the weather, but somehow it feels like the room has fostered over. I'll hate to be on the other side of that array. The prosecution sure is scary. I think I'll just steer clear of Rurik's breath for now. It was my testimony that started this in the first place. Mental note. Apologize to his aide later too. I can't believe I forgot to mention something like that when we were practicing my testimony. Lobby, Carlton District Courtroom 11, West Block. <sighs> it sure is nice to get some fresh air. I should look for a snack machine or something. I was too nervous this morning to stomach anything. But now I feel like I could snap anything down. That guy in the corner is totally burning a hole staring at me. I don't remember seeing anyone like him in the courtroom. Is he a reporter looking for an inn or something? As a witness, I'm not really supposed to talk to them. Dude, take a picture already! Okay, that's a good question. Do we approach him or make a face back? Either option is not really good at all. <laughs> because I'm childish, so let's make a face back. <laughs> the sensor! The sensor! What kind of face is she making? What? I furrow my brow and scrunch up my face. Scrunch my up? Scrunch my up? Okay, scrunch my face into my best arch impression. Just on you, weirdo. I'm totally down to make a fool myself in any legal venue this side of the Pacific. And this is the face that bought my funness cousin three reunions in a row. Suddenly, in the space between me and my observer, a grimly dressed man in a spectacles appears. Um, excuse me. If maybe not that ready. Do you know if Prosecutor Rurik is in there? He's totally ignoring the hideous face I was making. How professional! Where did he even come from? A lab coat too. You don't see that out in the wild very often. I bet he's here on an official business. <laughs> so many chores already. Do we fish for information or answer his question? Well, since we have started with um, uh, being uh, childish, let's go with um, ignoring, uh, trying not to. Actually, let's do it. First for information. Ew, is this one for one of his cases? Subhuti Martini is Marie. That's correct. How did you guess? Wait, wait, that's kind of easy. I mean, it wasn't exactly hard, my guy. 
I'm Elliot, by the way. I've been working the MC Alistair case. I was uh, supposed to deliver these results this morning. I ended up getting a little distracted. You see, I was just finishing my morning cheeseburger with double bacon, snatch, and I realized we, as a species, are just like these bacon. What? Who the hell has a morning cheeseburger? Maybe it's like a breakfast cheeseburger. Ooh, with a biscuit instead of a bun? Man, that sounds really good right about now. It's making me really hungry. The brine symbolizing that which what we are surrounded by. An embryonic fluid, if you will. Which brings us to the question of what about the garlic? Oh god, he was still talking? And the conversation is processed so well. Progressed so far. Are we still talking about hamburgers? The human connection? This is a metaphor? Are we a metaphor? Abruptly, Elia stops talking and looks at me expectantly. Agree wholeheartedly or disagree vehemently? And try to retain that we are not listening at whole area? Exactly! It's ridiculous to assume every human experience a situation such as that. At least, if you will. Yeah, he didn't seem to notice. I have no idea what the hell he's talking about. I'll just nod along until he's done. This conversation can't go on too much longer, can it? Anyway, uh, that's when I realized I left my folder at my workstation. And the folder I had brought was, indeed, the one on traditional Scandinavian weaving techniques. How eclectic. Do you know they have nothing to do with herringbone? The earliest examples of that weave can be traced back to the ancient room instead. Well, I better get these in as soon as possible. Thanks. I watched him turn to leave in a day's silence. Wait, 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 wait a minute. She didn't tell him anything about where uh, Rosakutter Rub Rudik is. Hmm. Wait. Oh, do you want a copy of my Scandivian? Scandiv Scandinavian papers? I always keep an extra on me. Uh, not exactly. It's just that door to the janitorial closet. The courtroom door is on the right. Elliot peers down over his nose at the door he just been about to open. Ah, uh, where are you? Are. <laughs> and discreetly moves over to the correct door before disappearing into the courtroom. Is he gonna be alright? Better yet, are whatever test results on that paper going to be alright? My faith in the American judicial system is at an all-time low. Now where was that vendor machine? I know I saw one earlier. Scanning the room, I spot a clustering machine, illuminated from within, a shining back on a pole. Here you are, beautiful. You speak of the bad bride. Holy moly! I really need to work on my situational awareness. It's like you put food in front of me and nothing else matters. During your death testimony, you said he was drinking that guy's blood. Uh, the legal line told me not to talk to anyone about the case. Do not worry, you will come to no harm. Excuse me? Is he threatening me? Do not, for I am an esteemed vampire hunter. 
I'm more than enough to banish any vampire from this immortal cold. Who <laughs> oh boy! It sounds like that. Um. Uh, what? What the Chinese people said? Um, I can't remember right now. Never mind that. <laughs> they just keep coming today. Let's play along. And uh, what moniker does still go by? You know, for the restraining order. Most call me Alan, and I always come on. Alan steps through his coat and yanks out a crooked blade nearly twice the length of a forearm with a flourish. Behold, Shadow Slain, my monster killing blade, crafted from the finest ore, coated in pure silver, and sharpened with deadly precision. Jesus, how do you get that fast security? One warrior of peace always acknowledges another. I mean, they tried to confiscate my bath and pain. I shall keep an eye out for you. But stay vigilant. The stench of Vampirella is heavier than the stench of justice here. I have to pick it up after dry off from their security office. Hey, are you paying attention to me? Uh, yes sir. Good. Caution is key. One never knows when those peas will attack. I shall return to the rafters and continue my virtual. The... Wait, I think that's the wrong name there. It's supposed to be Mary, right? The rafters? With a solemn nod, Alan merges into the crown, disappearing into the eater, leaving me with more questions than answers. It's not on the jury, right? There you are. God damn it! I just want my snacks. The machine is so close too. I try to subtly inch, inch closer to the machine. But Rudrick remains stubbornly steadfast before me. <sighs> yep, just me hanging out. I was actually just about to head to the. Well, jump, jump. There's no time to dawdle. We're about to reconvene, and I still need to talk to you about your disposition. A certain there won't be any more surprise. What's next? Hurry up. <laughs> and a lamp passed through the lobby. The windows straddle with each thread until, one by one, heads peep out of the doors lining the hallway. Why is that? I can barely hear myself above the trill screeches and Rurik's reply. Itself is lost to its cries. <laughs> the what? He leans in close, his smile almost tickling my ear. Is there security alarm? Now, get in the courtroom. We don't need civilians running around during a potential threat. I head towards the door, but turn around only to notice Rurik is walking briskly in the opposite direction. Hey, where are you going? <laughs> but his words are once again drowned out as he weaves his way through the ringing crowd and disappears. Ring bling. The fact that it's not a fire alarm can't be good. I hope Rurik knows what he's doing. I better get into the courtroom quick. Who knows what's going on? Rattle, rattle. Rattle, rattle. The door won't open. Uh, hey, can you all let me in? Silence. Anyone? 
Many laughter echoes to the now deserted halls, bouncing off the marble edges and walls. That is an ominous in the least. Ominous. And gains louder in volume until it almost elicits the alarm itself. Something tells me that's not Rory coming back with a newfound sense of humor. However, or whatever making it is growing closer. I need to find a place to hide. Oh well, uh, we can choose our character now. Okay, okay, okay. Looking great, see, looking great. Um, since uh, we are doing this, um, uh, let's start with the, the the most deranged looking of the bunch. Even though uh, it is advertised that none of them in this picture is no one at all, but sure. Okay. Oh, uh, oh, uh, uh, that. Oh, uh, that too. So they just finished with their um. With the toes, the toes section, right? Um, is there anything on this um gallery? No. Okay. Great. And now next, we will try to make all the choices that we have to make. So approach him. That's it. I caught with blast with him. I can relax with him staring at me like some sort of zoo animal. Swearing myself up to full height, I repair too much right up to his stupid face. Suddenly, in the space between us, a brimly dressed man in spectacles appears. Excuse me. Okay, and answer his question. He's probably pretty busy. I better not get in his way by in frantic questions. Yeah, he's in there still talking to the defense. Or rather, scolding their defense. That's rude for you. <laughs> One time someone accidentally brought him. Um, never mind, uh, someone was actually me. Good to know he's an equal opportunity critic, I guess. <laughs> anyway, I'm Eli from the Forensics Lab. I've been working on the evidence for the Mac Hester case. I was supposed to deliver these results this morning. And skip that. And disagree. <laughs> exactly! It's ridiculous to assume every human experience a situation such as that. But jeez, if you will. Or that too. And see if anything changes. Like, is it... Okay, yep. Yep. I think it only ends up the character select. Right? Right? Yep. And that should be all for the uh, kind of demo, the prologue of Moonlighting to you. This is uh, um, the I, I kind of really like the advertisement for this game. They did said that um, uh, we will have four incredibly questionable love interests. So it's really uh, that sounds really exciting. And so I hope that um, I don't think that yeah, um, this is still a roll and uh, still a demo, but it looks great so far. I do love the art style, their uh, UI, um, their uh, custom UI art style, the title, the colors. It looks really really um, bright and cute and stuff. Um, you can almost um, feel the joke in it, like the cartoony. And I especially like like um, so. General is very cute. The um, music itself also uh, supports that, 
and the design of the uh, love interests are really nice too. You can tell from who's to who's as they have their own color scheme. Bubble pink, green, and neon color stuff. So, um, yeah. I, I love uh, I, the, 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 the demo have potential and I'm really looking forward for the main story. Anyway, thank you all for watching and I'll see you on the next playthrough. Bye bye!